Hey guys, it's Jennifer, AKA Creole Azucar here, and I am back with a products review. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I have a love-hate relationship with shampoos. I don't really use them, but every so often, for some reason I have yet to figure out, I will want to use shampoo, and then I buy like two, three, four, five, trying to find one that I like. I have been on that kick for months now. I've probably bought in the last three or four months, maybe like six different shampoos. Um, so that's what I'm going to review today. And this was one of the first ones that I picked up just because so many ladies in my curl group raved about it. So I couldn't decide on one that I wanted from like the nat My Natural Hair Boutique. So I just decided to pick this one up because it was all the rage. Um, and I'm talking about the Shea Moisture Manuka and Honey, Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo. Yes, I know it's cricket, 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 cricket. First of all, the smell. I do not like the smell of this line. Call me crazy, whatever. So many people love it. I think I'm just not a perfumey kind of person. I like more like fruity or sweet. I really cannot explain to you what it smells like. If you don't know what it smells like, if you haven't smelled it, just go in your Target and smell away. Um, I can't really tell where I've used it to. I want to say like right about here. And I've used this shampoo three different times. I used it the first time and I hated it. And like I said, because there were so many rave reviews, I was like, you know, I'm definitely going to give it a second chance. Tried it again. Tried it a third time. I hate this shampoo. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Um, I'm sad to say that I hate it because so many people love it. So many people that I know used it and was like, oh my God, I want to immediately shampoo my hair again. Oh my God, I don't need to condition after using it. I don't know what is wrong with my hair or if I got a bad batch or whatever. I have no clue. This made my hair feel like straw. It felt matted and stripped and dry. And I just, I'm so ready to get rid of this. You don't even understand. I, wow. So if you're wanting to try it, I hope you have the results opposite of mine. This is what it looks like. It is nice and creamy. It has a good amount of slip like most of their shampoos do. But like I said, it did nothing for me. My hair just felt dry. It was a hot mess. I could not get conditioner on my hair fast enough. So I just wanted to come on really quick and just share what my experience was. Like I said, hopefully if you've been wanting to try this, and you still want to try it, hopefully you'll have the amazing results that I know so many ladies have had. I just wanted to quickly come on and share my experience with it um, before I give it away. And I was very surprised, you know, before I purchased it um, to see that it has rice protein in it. I don't know if you can see those ingredients, but um, I just thought that was so odd for a shampoo to have protein in it because I don't want protein in my shampoo, my conditioner, and my deep conditioner. Like for me, that's just too much and I am a big advocate of the protein moisture balance, but I don't know y'all, I just don't know, but I just wanted to, like I said, share my experience with you. So um, yeah, needless to say, I will never, ever, ever in life repurchase this. I love the... Um, their shampoo from the restorative line, which is the gold, like the yellowish gold label. That shampoo is amazing. I hate the smell, but the performance of it is absolutely stellar. So that's that. I definitely, like I said, I have bought probably five other shampoos after this one. And um, I cannot wait to review those for you guys. Um, so be looking out for those. And again, thank you so much for subscribing, watching, liking, commenting. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.